How's it going guys? Now last week I released a tutorial demonstrating how to turn your Raspberry Pi and aftermarket head unit into an advanced display for your engine data. This week I will be showing you an affordable and practical alternative than using an aftermarket head unit to display your data. Here's what I came up with. Now the program will connect through the OBD2 interface, display the gauges available dependent on the particular vehicle, and display real-time engine data on Adafruit's Pi TFT touchscreen display in an interactive GUI. Next, let's discuss the hardware we will be utilizing for this project. A Raspberry Pi. An SD card with pre-installed OBD Pi TFT software. An Adafruit Pi TFT touchscreen display. A 2 amp car supply slash switch. A USB Bluetooth dongle. And finally, an Elm 327 Bluetooth adapter. Next, let's head back to the workbench for our demonstration. As you can see, I have my 2 amp car supply slash switch plugged into my Raspberry Pi and my constant 12 volt source, switch 12 volt source, and ground hooked up to my breadboard. Now I'm going to unplug my switch 12 volt source from the breadboard and turn on my power supply. Notice we get no response from the Raspberry Pi. Now when I plug in my switch 12 volt source the Raspberry Pi boots, this is simulating that the driver has turned the vehicle's ignition to the on position. On the contrary, when the switch 12 volt source is removed from the breadboard, the shutdown signal is sent and safely shuts down the Raspberry Pi, simulating that the driver has turned the vehicle's ignition to the off position. Next, let's discuss the GUI. There are two gauge options that you can choose from. The first is the traditional circle gauge. This includes a Photoshop template so the user can customize the gauge to suit their style. Second, we have the rounded rectangle gauge. This is a similar style that you would find in a Nissan GTR. Now, to cycle through the modes, the user simply has to tap the display. It's as simple as that. There are a number of ways to mount your Raspberry Pi in your vehicle. I chose to utilize an iPhone suction cup car mount along with the Sweetbox Raspberry Pi case from Grasping Hand. Now that that's out of the way, let's go for a drive. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like and favor button and stay up to date by subscribing. And for more cool do-it-yourself projects, head on over to Cowfish Studios.